Hey guys, I just got a new camera, so I'm filming this on a GoPro 8, so it'll be interesting to see how this footage turns out. Um, so yeah, pretty keen to see how that actually goes when I'm fishing, so hopefully this ban hurries up and gets lifted. So today I'm going to run through my Kingfish gear. I've had a couple of people asking me what gear I've been using for Kingfish, so I haven't got much because I've just started um, fishing for them, so yeah. I'll just run through yeah some of the stuff I've got. I'll start with the rod and reels. So I've got this Shimano Pelagic Nano rod. Um, I've got two of these, um, and then I have a different reel on each one. But they're a three to six kilo rod. I think they're six foot or a bit over six foot. Um, and this one is paired up with a Saragossa ten thousand with fifty pound fins braid. Um, at the moment, I have a hundred pound leader on there with an FG knot. Um, and yeah, that's the first one. It's like the rod is designed by Paul Worsling, I'm pretty sure. And it's, they make it for Kingfish in the Rip. So, so I went with that rod, but that's the first rod setup I've got up. And the second one is exactly the same rod again, but I have a Daiwa Saltist reel on there, six and a half thousand reel. Fins 50 pound braid again, but it's a multicolored braid. Um, same again, 100 pound leader. FG knot, um, but yeah, that's the two rod and reel setups that I have for kingfish, so and tuna, but I haven't caught a tuna yet. <laughs> but yeah, with the Saragossa one, I pretty much use this one for casting stuff. So I'll put a stick bait, usually a white stick bait, this Rapala X Wrap I put on there, um, and I'll pretty much just use this for casting or trolling. So yeah, I'll put a diver on there or whatever for trawling and a stick bait for casting and yeah that's all I use this one for um, and I keep it next to the boat so it's like or the next to the console so it's easy to grab if like a school show up and I'm jigging I can just grab that casting rod without having to change lures and all that sort of stuff so yeah that's what I use that one for this one I use for all the same things as well trawling casting but I use this one for jigging as well main reason I just use this one for jigging I find this reel actually has a longer handle than the Saragossa, so when you're like jigging it, I find this is easier to get in a better rhythm. Um, but yeah, multicolored braid on this one is the main reason I jig with it for because um, every 10 meters it changes color. So if you're 50 meters down or deep and then you know, you're know you dropping your jig all the way to the bottom, you know exactly sort of where you're at, where if you can't see the colors, sometimes you might think you're on the bottom. I've noticed when I've been in the rip a couple of times, there's like, because the current's ripping through there, there'll be like a bomby or something and it'll be like creating like a swirl in the current. So when you drop your jig down, you'll hit the swirl and it will either stop it in its tracks because the jigs I use, they like a knife jig, that'll just like flutter down as it's dropping down. It won't just drop straight down. Um, so if it hits like a waft or whatever in the current, it sort of slows up. And if you have got the plain braid on there, you think it might be on the bottom where with the multicolored braid, I could be like, oh, I'm only 30 meters down and I know I'm in 50 meters of water, so I can let it sink that extra bit. Um, I just find it easier to work that way. So that's why I just jig with that one with that braid on it. Um, but yeah, I'll go through a couple of um, lures and stuff I use. So, um, Jigs, just the knife jigs. These are the entice ringers. They're 200 grams. I've got a, or three of those that I use. Um, that's what I caught my kingfish on that color. I think it's supposed to represent a squid. And that's a pilchard color. And then I have another green, silvery, pink head one. Um, but yeah, I haven't really used that too much. So they're my jigs that I use um, in the rip. And then I showed you one of these before, but I got a couple of extra diving trawling lures that you trawl around sort of structure, like all the bombies and where the, the rocks are, they like to hang out in the rough water. So you trawl them around there. A um, couple of little stick baits. So I got this little Rapala x wrap and this Nomad. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a slimy mackerel and you can't really beat white for that sort of stuff. So I've got those two. Um, just a popper, I'm not sure what brand or whatever it is, I bought it eight years ago, so just to sort of, yeah, have that just in case they're like hitting surface and stuff. And then trawling, 
I've got a couple of these uh, little skirts. So Mark at Tackle Early Mornington rigged them all up for me. They're all like crimped and ready to roll. So I've used them a couple of times, but um, yeah, so I got them ready. That's basically the all the stuff I have for Kingfish. I don't have a whole lot because I'm only just sort of getting into it, but um, yeah, I'm keen to see more. I want to get maybe a couple of overhead reels, like tuna rods for um, trawling for tuna. I want to catch a tuna on these two rods first, and then I'll probably go out and buy a good overhead setup or two, so I can sort of have four lures out um, in that sense, but yeah. I've had a couple of questions lately, ever since I put the Kingfish video up. It's the first Kingfish I caught in my boat. I'll put a card up there somewhere for that. But ever since I put that video up, I've had a heap of people that haven't fished the rip before ask me how to fish the rip for Kings. So basically you just start at one end and drift through. And when you get to the other end, you move back to the start and you're jigging while you're drifting. That's the base of it. But what I would recommend is go on a charter um, it's exactly what I did a couple years ago. I went on a charter, real-time fishing charters with Matt Sini, and I got my PB Kingfish on that charter, which was 99 centimeters, and that was awesome. So the best way to learn, I think, is do that. If you jump on a charter boat, they know exactly what's going on. You see how they set the drift up. You see how they jig. They'll teach you how to jig. They'll show you exactly what's sort of going on. They, I got mine on a live squid. They weren't jigging the day I got mine. Um, but now I know, I have a rough idea of how to do it just because I've seen when they did it. Um, and the same went for the jigging and all the, all the stuff. So I would suggest going on a charter and you know, sort of learning off them on how to do it. And then there's, once you've done that, you can start trying to suss out where to go, like find, spots in the route where you're going to start you drift and end the drift and that's like the fun of it just trying to work it out like i think me and josh drove around up and down the rip a couple of hours on the sound and just looking around seeing what all the other boats were doing and see how it all works before we had we're anywhere near getting a hit and that's the sort of fun of it so yeah i would recommend going on a charter um and having a look there before you head out on your own yeah, that's pretty much all my stuff with Kingfish. I don't have a lot of it. I'm only just new to it. But yeah, if you've got any recommendations for lures or jigs or any of that sort of stuff, I'm really keen to get into it. I wanted to get into it heaps, but obviously this COVID-19, I haven't been able to get out. So next season, I think the season will be over by the time we can fish. But next season, I'm keen as to do a lot more trying to catch kings and tuna. So yeah, if you've got any setups, you know, you think would suit me or is good, let us know. And I want to hear what everyone else is running and other people's tactics on how they chase them and stuff like that. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.